Hello, welcome back to another episode of Civ 5, where Bobby and I are racing for a, a science, science victory, victory. and uh, I'm winning. <laughs> By far. Yes. You're catching up, though. Yeah, no, I won't. Uh... Jeez. Uh, let's see here. There we go. All right, so I've got me a uh, a submarine here, and I just yep. came across one of Dan's uh, destroyers. Yeah, destroyers. That is eerily off my coast. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's protecting the trade route. Oh, okay. That's why I built the submarine. If you continue uh, in that direction, you will come across two more in a line protecting the <laughs> trade route. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and all of my production right now, we're going to switch to the International Space Station in hopes for some sort of miracle science boost. It could happen. Yep, it could. Like I said, my amount of science per turn has actually gone down since we started recording today, so... <laughs> but my happiness seems to just keep going up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Mine is at 21. Mine is at 71. I apparently have created a utopian society. Mm. <sighs> what should we do here? Do you have anything specific we need to build? Not, not really. Um, I guess you're just going to do this for now. Why aren't you letting me buy a research lab? Purchase. Research lab. There we go. Oh, and we've got another policy. I guess I'm out of ones that give me science. Yeah, I just got another policy here, too. So let's finish up rationalism. Let's see, adapting... Let's see here. Improves the ability. Well, yeah, so the adopting rationalism will grant you 10% plus science while the Empire is happy. This unlocks the building of the porcelain tower. Adapting all will grant you a free technology. It also will allow you to purchase of great sciences with faith points. Well, start an industrial area. Era. All right. You can purchase got... great scientists with faith points? Yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> you have all those faith points you don't need to... Shh. <laughs> See, it helps to pay attention to the Let's Plays. I have, I have quite a bit of faith points. And I just, I think I just spent them all. <laughs> uh, enact world leader. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Pointless. Um, I could just end the game right here. <laughs> I don't think you could. Do you have enough to... I can vote for you. I mean, yeah, but I don't try, but... Um, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I don't think between us we have enough points to actually put me into world leader oh no you're right because you don't. said we need 28 right yeah I mean, there's only thir no there's you have 22 delegates i have okay. 12 so yeah that's 34. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah interesting 
So we would, but let's not. We're only five minutes into the episode. <laughs> <laughs> let's not end it yet. Uh, found uranium. Oh, that's a great place to have uranium. Thing. Plus, I don't think I've ever actually achieved a science victory before. Even though this is like the most contrived science victory mm. I could possibly re achieve since we've both decided not to attack each other. Yeah. And if this was a normal game against AI, I would have never even done the scientific victory. I would have just rolled oh, over God. the AI. <laughs> All right. What, what, what? Let's see here. Unit is a bitching about. Oh, well, my only kind of active unit I have right now. Ah, no world leader was chosen. Oh, what a shame. Thank God the uh, the real uh, United Nations doesn't act like this. We need to choose a new world leader. Oh, geez, what the hell happened? I can adopt a free policy? What did I... I what the... All right. Did I... Oh, I completed something. So we'll go over here to ideology. Hero of the people... Uh, what is, oh, I need, uh, let's see here, I, n none of these give me any kind, n none of these level one tenants give me any kind of science bonus, except, you know, 15, twice as likely to capture a technology, yeah, uh, let's see here, plus one, Plus two local happiness from monument. Build monuments in half the time. Well, sure, yeah. So that got me 30. I'm up to 33 happiness now. Choose production in Edinburgh. International Space Station. Make a proposal! God. <laughs> Start a trade route. Let's trade with Hanoi. My submarine needs direction. Dan's battleship has damage. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. And I completed the Kremlin. That's what got me all that kind of like random free stuff. Hmm. The International Space Station is now 45% complete. The United Nations will convene in five turns. Um, sure. So how's your how's your tech tree looking? Um, I am in the process right now of researching combined arms. My submarine has discovered an ancient ruin. <laughs> Too bad I don't have any units I could deploy or really care all that much. And in the barbarian encampment I've discovered. On that little island there? Yeah. Yeah. That barbar barbarian encampment has been there since the dawn of time. Mm. And I've just never cared to land anyone there to kill it. Now it's I good. have a ship sitting next to it that just bombards any units that pop up any time. Mm. Tyree it's... loves me for it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they do. No, uh, yeah, I see you bombarding it. it, it it's, it's producing Marines. Yeah, Which somehow that doesn't kind of funny. surprise me. All right, so let's see here. Let's let's take a look at my tech tree right now, since you asked. Um, I am two technologies into the atomic era. I got a ways to go. 
I shouldn't say a ways to go, but we'll see. Actually, I have 1,700 gold right now. I can buy... Uh, where is... What has a higher pop... Which city has... Additional information... Where is... Economic overview. City with the second most science is Cardiff. They already have a lab, I think. Akkad... Dublin already has a lab. And so, uh... Or, uh, does Akkad have a lab? Did I buy a lab in Akkad? If... I think all nope. of my cities have a lab. No research lab in Akkad. There we go. That got me up to 815, science. Yeah, you're getting closer. You're only like 400 off now. <laughs> it's a little bit less than 400. All right, we're in a golden age. Let's start. Let's let, let's get our golden ageness on. Cool. I am uh, not actually. Well, I might be. I don't know. It may have ended. International space station is complete. Apparently, yeah, you completed it. Good job. And. That surprises you? No, I did not. Not really. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't working towards the international games. Also, I am. <laughs> you are oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, I have no uh, idea what that actually did for me, but uh, sure. Uh, let's see. The Manhattan Project allows your cities to build atomic bombs and nuclear missiles. Eh, maybe later. I want to increase. Let's check out Edinburgh. It does generate a great scientist, so we will build a garden. Babylon! All my cities that were building parts of the ISS, I have to select stuff now. Uh, hydro plant. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to do oh, oh, wait. Right. Oh, wait, no. So, oh, wait, no. Medical lab isn't science related. No, oh, it's right. like food. Yeah. Mm. We've got like this space between us that has it's like no two city states <laughs> in, in there. It's like our DMZ. Yeah, it's our DMZ, <laughs> our no touching zone. <laughs> Quebec and Vatican City and Singapore live in our DMZ. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. This round is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Uh... How is it that all of our Civ games end in a lack of combat? Because <laughs> I'm probably because I'm probably a pacifist. That's why. I, probably. I, I've always been a science victory person in Civ. Well, this round, this round just wouldn't have been fair. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, I right clicked on something and I shouldn't have. Yeah, th this round of combat ending wouldn't have been fair the last yeah. time around i probably would have been slightly more even matched but i don't know yeah double geez how uh, everything is just completing in turns here uh you know what double go let's go for a stock exchange move stack unit who is oh that's right i got the bonuses from from I was number two in the ISS, right. so I got some bonuses I, for that. Yeah, yeah. 
So I got a free grade scientist out of that. Which is good. It got me ecology. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to take Sir James Lancaster. I'm going to hit move and we're going to send him over to... So we'll send him over to Singapore. So he can conduct a trade mission there. I got two great people in that turn. And let us in turn here. Thanks, Hanoi. Just what I always wanted. Hmm. Uh, another shitty unit. <laughs> they gifted me an XCOM squad. <laughs> ah! And I'm going to delete it, because I don't need an XCOM squad. <laughs> ah, GMZ Research, Nuclear Fusion. There's a lot of uranium in the DMZ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. International games are now 82% complete. Move and right along in my civ failure. Let's see here. Edinburgh finished its garden. Oh, does it have to have a hospital before it can have have a research lab? Probably. Uh, which is fine. We want. Hmm. All right, some reset up trade routes because I can, I guess. Mm. Um, my golden age has ended, and next turn. What am I fucking assigning delegates to? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You're somehow getting more delegates. <laughs> Uh, you get more delegates, the more population you get. No. Oh. So you're probably gaining delegates, too. I did. I am, too. But I thought that was because I was helping out, uh, uh, you know, uh, city-states. Um, consider it, well, do you control any of the city-states currently? I control two. Which two? Uh, Zurich and uh, Vatican City. Uh, well, that would give you two. Yeah. Uh, I need to build... I'm going to purchase an opera house in Jita so I can get rid of this great musician... There we go. I have completed symphony number 93. Perhaps you may have heard of my other 92 symphonies. <laughs> I will sing them now. My score is actually, I think, uh, nuclear non-proliferation fails. It's not a... Did you vote against it? <laughs> I did, because I didn't care about arts funding. I didn't care about that either, but I thought it was funnier. <laughs> Got to keep my I, options open. I, I split my vote. 
If you hadn't split your vote, it wouldn't matter. I put all of my votes on against that. Well, you've got arts funding now, even though that, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't give a crap about arts funding. Clearly, you don't care about the arts. Not at all. YouTuber. We are, we're a culture of science. Yes, here. we are. We are a planet of science. Well, I guess the international game's finished because all of my cities are done whatever <laughs> they were doing. There we go. Next turn. Oh god. So many pop-ups. Seriously, I don't care about 80% of this stuff. Agreed. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh. United Nations, I don't care. All my spies don't actually care. Oh, I'm a Gonzo Congo. Stop giving me units. Mm. I'm just going to terminate them. I don't. I don't know why you love me so much. <laughs> I mean, I do. My spy has been rigging your elections for decades, <laughs> possibly centuries, but yeah, most likely centuries. We've almost caught up to current time. It's 2010. Yeah, that's true. And I haven't invented the internet yet. <laughs> but I have XCOM units. That makes sense. <laughs> How, how's your science a turn coming? Right now I'm up to 837. I just, though, uh, scored another uh, great scientist. So we got that going for me. How much, how's, how's your money? Oh, I got plenty of money. I get, me too. Uh, I get to 389 a turn. Well, that's a lot. Holy shit. I'm only getting 119 a turn. Granted, I have like 4,000 in the bank because I haven't been spending it on anything. Yeah, I'm trying to... I just bought... I just bought something. What did I buy? I don't know. Uh... I want to buy anything like a. I'm gonna start to have. I'm gonna to have to start specializing in these cities in production soon, because I'm running out of science and population stuff. I might as well buy a stadium. Why not? The money won't be any good when Dan launches his spaceship to. <laughs> to you know the Neverland Ranch or wherever. No, wherever that spaceship happens to go. Yeah. It used to be Alpha Centauri. Yeah. I don't think that's where it goes. No. Okay. Barbarian encampment. You were <laughs> just making marines. Why did you spawn archers? Ah. What? <laughs> That makes no sense at all. What is my city with my highest production here? Economic overview. Wow, it's actually Edinburgh. <laughs> I 
Where do you see that at? So if you go under uh, additional information and click uh, economic overview, you can get a list of all your cities and um, sort them by where. So you see, like, oh, there, there it is. There yeah. it is. Uh, economic overview. So you can sort them by whatever. Yeah. How's your? What's your highest production? My highest production is Edinburgh at forty. At forty? Yes. Wow. I haven't been building any uh, of the production buildings. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, that's really low. I know. That's it's why like, I said I'm gonna have to start switching to like. It's only like three higher than my lowest production city. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> but then again, like I've been, I've had a lot of money for a while now. That pretty much I've just been building everything. Mm. Like some of these cities, like there isn't anything to build anymore. <laughs> I mean, some of them there is, but. A lot of stuff I've unlocked recently that, uh... Mm -hmm. I haven't built. There's right. not a lot of point at this stage anymore. Gotta get my five science from trading with Berlin. I can't get past that area. That's not good for business. No. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we'll just end our turn. Our deal seems to have ended. Yeah, and for once it didn't seem to that didn't seem to affect my happiness all that much. Unless it just hasn't, like... I might as well head down to this area. It's not going to kill anybody. Uh... I didn't build the research lab in Gita because I was going to buy it last turn. There we go. Uh, My golden age ended, and we can adapt a policy. Let's switch over here to ideologies. Oh, here we go. That's factories. And culture per city. Factories increase a city's science output by 25%. They don't have any science buildings, but... Going five year plan, but uh, right for every mining quarry, new cities start with. And who's building new cities at this late in the game? Right, where would you even put one? Yeah, <laughs> there's like maybe like enough space for one if you can squeeze it in between like Quebec and Vatican. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you could like. Yeah, no, there's no reason to build in an area that you already have covered by tiles, really. Yep. Actually, let's see here. Where? How much? They only have 400 gold. Where is Berlin? How much will it cost to build a factory? Or to purchase a factory in there? I don't even see a factory. Castle, workshop. 
Is there a prerequisite to a factory? I guess electricity. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I think I have to build a, like a hydro plant or something. Turn the map and turn Dan, in between Dan come in between. <laughs> Are you ending the game right now? <laughs> I just Possibly. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there we go. It was the end of the episode. I've been having them sit outside that city until they all finished. <laughs> all right. Well, um, are there any like stats or anything here? Uh, info I, demographics. Them are uh, rankings usually. Rankings. Or actually, if you hit replay, no. it. It usually puts, like, a graph or something. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be. <laughs> There's been like that in, like, every Civ game. You have been defeated. Your civilization has been overwhelmed by its many foes, but your people do not despair, for they know that one day you shall return and lead, forward, and lead them forward to victory. Well, I didn't, like, get destroyed. I mean, like, you know, conquered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, uh... yeah, so... Well, what uh, what uh, Civ score did you get, or what Civ? Oh wait, there we go. Get? Graphs. Wait, what? What? Huh? What? What did I? What, what under? Is it ranking? Yeah. What? What? What ranking did you get? Um, where does it show that at? So this, you you know you have achieved a level of. You know, um, Augustus Caesar. Ah, I achieved the rank of uh, Marcus Aurelius. So seven? Yeah, so it was seven. Number twenty one is still Dan Quayle. <laughs> uh ranking. Where did you see the graphs? Uh it is under replay. Um there's a drop down menu at the top. Oh, messages graphs. Yeah, there we go. Oh, score. I mean, we were pretty... I mean, you weren't really that far behind on score. No, yeah. On, on score, you can see about when... You you can see the point right there where you jumped. Like in... What, what year are they calling that? I don't know. Like maybe like 1,200 you all of a sudden jumped. Which is... Oh, it's just when you started conquering those other guys. Well, like, m mine was pretty much, like, steady from the beginning. I mean, there was a sharp increase right there, but I think that's about when Brazil... No, Brazil didn't die. I took... I probably took a, took city, a city from there Brazil because there. Because notice they fell at the exact same time. Yeah. Um, so that was a little bit of a jump. But, uh, like, my graph is pretty even, like, the whole way. Yeah. Um, yours, because they declare right about where, um, there's, like, a little tiny drop for you right about where my yeah. thing jumps. And that's where you lost, I think they declared war on you right yeah, there. God, I was at war with them. They declared war on me probably, like, what are they calling that? Actually, here, if we go into messages... I'm not gonna scroll through all the fucking messages. Yeah, no, don't do that. But if like if you have the Celts on, you can see like they kind of jumped up a little bit right there, and then you were at war with them forever. Yeah. Until you can see that there's some sharp jumps in your score, which yeah. is where you know you started taking cities back from them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This... All right. Well. I think that'll do it for this video. If uh, you liked the video, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for some other game. Thanks sure. for watching. <laughs> Bye.